My name is Steve Cox and I'm making a YouTube video today on Carbide Create Pro tutorial and an example. Today we're going to be making a widget ramp that's approximately two inches by four inches. A widget is uh, something that's used in the computer world and a lot that explains a tool that really doesn't exist. But the idea is that you'll make a component of, a, of an interface or establish something for the user to perform a function or access to a service. In other words, you're building something that will go into another product that'll help you out. And in this case, we're going to build a widget that is in grayscale and a PGN file. And you will build this and save it as a PGN file. And then you will pull it out of uh, um, the file out and use it as part of your design to help uh, you get the desired result you want in your design and um, make it a little easier for you. Um, whether it's easier, that'll depend on you. I'm using Carbide Create um, Pro and um, my Shapoko XXL. So, so the first thing we run into is how we're going to set up the material. Uh, when I use this and make these widgets in Carbide Create Pro, I often build the uh, uh, material size more like a workspace. So I build it uh, quite a bit bigger than I need, and uh, that way I don't. Uh, have a problem fitting what I'm designing in there, and there's some other ways you can trim it down to size um, later if you need to. <coughs> but if you put the the zero the zero path um, tool path zero, if you put that in the center, then you can always just cut from the center of your project out, and you don't have to uh, have a big sheet there. You can just set it up like that. Uh, so that's normally how I do it. And and additionally in this, I when I build the widget, the widget has to be centered. Uh, when you export it otherwise it won't come back in centered and you won't know where it is so in this case um i'm uh, i'm building something pretty simple and it won't quite fit on here but it's a uh, it starts with a a big square that's eight by ten and that is going to be where i'm going to build a pyramid angle um angle kind of a ramp um, and so it angles up from all sides now to get rid of all three of the sides and leave me with a ramp i've got a a two by four center in here, which is what I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this piece out of out of the pyramid, but it still has to be centered. So I have to have a a, a ten by twelve piece around the whole thing, and that will keep it uh, the the ramp settled. So um, I'm gonna quickly look at uh, um, uh, the components. There's three components of the build and um, right here on the side I've kind of written them down. So the first one is a flat layer that's um, a flat base layer that's 0.1 inches thick and um, we're using a merge type of add so that adds this the skinny layer across the bottom and then the next one which you'll see when I pull up the video um, the next part of it that there's a, a pyramid set on top of here and uh, it's at a 45 degree angle and it has scale height set to it and it's 1.4 inches tall and it's an add and then we're going to come in with a uh, and we'll show this part a, a flat um, height of 0.1 inches and we're going to do an equal um, merge type and that will reduce everything around the triangle uh, to basically back down to 0.1 so I'm going to go ahead and set up and show you the uh, um, the uh, how we built the last last section so now we're going to go work on building the, the final part of the model and that's to uh, cut out the ramp so if you look at the front page here we're, we're just cut this out and so in the model you can see the flat area we did to center the model on the on the work surface and then we've got the ramp up there um, that we're going to cut out of and so now we're going to cut that piece out so if i jump over here and i highlight the center and the edge so what we're going to do right now is we're going to work on all this space around here but but this <clears throat> so coming up to the uh, um, model tool we come into here and we're going to do a flat and we're, there'll be no scale height or anything to it and we're going to do a height of 0.1 and then we're going to come down here and we're going to do an equal at the bottom and we're going to apply that and you can see everything went away so if I look at the model now all I have left is the ramp which is what I want and so this is what we're going to um, save and turn into a PNG file that we can use later. This is what our uh, grayscale 
PNG file looks like that we are saving. Um, not that impressive, but does a lot. And so we will pull that out of uh, our file anytime we want to use it. So this is a rectangle that we want to bring the model into. It's two by four, so it's approximately the size of our model. So we've highlighted it red. We're going to import. And here's our model that we built. And it just lays right there on the top. So we're going to change the height of it to 1.5 inches tall. We're going to change the scale to 1.2. And we're going to do an add. And we'll see what it looks like. So here, here it is right there. So that worked. We've got a little bit of a, a lip here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. So it's 1.3. We'll just increase the size just a touch and push that right on off the edge. All right, so um, we'll go back here. Don't unhighlight that. Hit save. And uh, now we're going to go back and uh, do the next one. <clears throat> so we highlighted the area we want to bring the model into. Pull up our model. And there's our model. And now we're going to change it to match the angle of the, of the rectangle at 45. And we're going to add height of 1.5, and we had to do 1.3 for the scale height. And we're going to subtract all those at one time. So there it goes, and there it actually pulled out. So that, that worked pretty good. And again, if you want to switch it to the other side for some reason, uh, just hit invert, apply, and there it goes. So now the last thing we have to do is, is a much bigger one. So let's hit done. We'll go back and make sure we're still highlighted red and we'll hit done. So now we're going to highlight this last one. Now, this is way bigger than the uh, 2.4, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. And brought in our model. So there's our model. You can see it right here. Uh, we're going to come in and make it the same 1.5 high. And this time we're going to make it six inches. And we're going to add and hit, there we go, apply and there, there's our model. Now what we did here was we actually cut a piece out of this right here and stuck it here. So there, normally there's a model out here in the front and the back, but it looks like we left a couple of uh, little edges on there. So again, we'll do what we did before and we'll push this out to seven, see if we can make them go away. And there they go away. And so now you can see that we have a, a model and it's not quite as sloped. Uh, but there's ways of playing with that too. If you know you want to build that size of figure to bin, begin with, then you just make a model that's that size. But that's real time how you uh, how you use the model. So the last thing I want to show is um, some just some other things that you can do with the model. And each one of these, you've seen me bring in these two here and show how those work. Um, but uh, I also made some other shapes to see how how it will impact. That actually took me quite a few, and you can see 34. So I made a few mistakes there to get to there. It's not even easy for me to do sometimes. But we'll go ahead and show it here, and this is what it looks like. And so I've got the two ramps. I made another ramp over here, and I imported a butterfly to sit on top of it. And over here, I just had a star at an angle because we could. And here's a donut at an angle, um, in case anyone's hungry. And then the last one was we have kind of a stop sign thing over here. Uh, supposed to be a NASA engineer and know what how many sides are at. Um, but again, uh, you can add you can add words and letters to the, to the uh, top of anything you've got. So anyway, uh, that's my video for today. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. I hope uh, this was going to able to help you build something really cool and. Uh,